Damn it! Okay. Sir. Thank you. Okay. Man, I like this bow! It's like, Assassin's Creed? Far Cry. <laughs> Assassin's Creed? Far Cry. <laughs> and I like it. I like Far Cry. I've played 3, 4, and Primal. And I think they're all great. But okay, hold on. Let me just, uh, do this. Whee! There we go. Now where is this punk? There he is. He's down further than us. Where is he? Is he underground? Oh my god, I think he's underground. You, however, you need to be taken care of right now. Hey. Uh oh, you, you had a friend. Going to cut you. Get out of the plant. Lost it. Is there like a basement in this place? Sweet 360, bro. Okay, hold on. Oh my god, there is. So what, he's just down here now? Well, how am I supposed to get in there without being seen? Oh no. Okay. Of course, my lord. Beg pardon, my lord. Never again. Is it because I was detected? Now he's in like his panic room? Oh, that's gonna hurt. What an ad. Must be drugs. You see me? And you don't care? I am certain you will find the solution, my lord. I am not quite certain if this will work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm going up and around. Oh god, he's coming out. Well, why didn't you kill me? Work together. Yeah. Holy! Oh shit! I gotta do that. Okay. Well. Nope. I did it. Yay! He's dead. <laughs> hey. So, where the guy I killed? Is he in here too? <laughs> Was convenient. You. You have returned. Yes, I right have. Right, you're wrong. I die, my work unfinished. So close, so very close to ushering in the perpetual rule of the strong and virtuous. Virtue. So close indeed. What you will will give us the power of the gods. Whoa. What is one boy? What is one boy? Papa? Wait, I have a kid? Are you serious? When did this happen? Judging by the look of the kid, probably, I don't know, five, six years ago? <laughs> Whoa. He's so close indeed. <laughs> he doesn't know. Thousands of years, Bray. That ain't close. So, uh, can I play now? I don't even know what's happening. Did I kill the guy? Because he sure didn't look dead. <laughs> and now I'm... Oh, it's a memory. Hey, one more, one more. Okay. Hey. Well, two. I can try. This way, I'll get two. <laughs> sure. Well... Up. Strong. Ready? Yes. That's yes. who Kremu is. Ah, go ahead. You're gonna love it. There's like 16 hyenas, That's and they're so dark and scary. Well, you know what? Uh, I'd rather go hunt with my papa. You always get too scared. Hey. Hey, hey. Let's go on a real hunt. Huh? <laughs> All right. Come, come. Wow. The 
Oracle wants Ibex. the belt of an Ibex stag for the ceremony. You will stand next to the Pharaoh, won't you, Violet? You're the Magi. When I'm Magi, I'm sure I'm, I'm proud next of to it the at Pharaoh. this point. You'll never be Magi. You're too scared. That's not true. What about the hyena kid? Shut up. Enough, you two. Oh, I push them. Okay, they run as fast as I do. Man, that's a first in Assassin's Creed. God. It makes you faster. <laughs> I want my feet to light on fire. Do you though? <laughs> Sounds like it would hurt. Okay. Oh, there they are. I see them. It is up ahead. Can I come? <laughs> hey, your mother's waiting for you. All right. See you at the ceremony, Hamu. I invited him all the way over here, and then I just say no. Beat it, kid. Oh. We don't want just any stag. We want the pack leader. Which one is he? Big, with giant horns. Quiet now. Do what I do. Hey, this is my favorite part. Stay low. They will spot us unless we become like a moon, the god of hiddenness. Ah. Yes, Papo. We are the hidden ones. Ah, so I do have my eagle. Okay, cool. There he is. Okay, he's over there. Senu, Senu, come to me. Why are you calling Senu? Chenzero told me I should steal his feathers so that my wedding ceremony gets me to the field of reeds. Well, don't you be taking feathers <laughs> off my bird. Anubis weighs your heart against a feather. Yes, he does. You cannot right. tamper with this weighing ceremony. It is sacred. It's also rigged. <laughs> On one oh, side of the scale. Oh no, I scared them. <laughs> it's okay. In more time for us to spend together. Enjoy the journey. They weigh the heart again. Stay with me. Can you stop talking so I can talk? Together. They weigh on one side of the scale is a feather. On the other side of the scale is a human heart. And you weigh it. And I think if your heart is heavier than a feather, you go underworld. Bad place. If it's lighter than a feather, then you go up. Good place. So, rigged, right? <laughs> I do know that. Ooh, sandstorm kicking in. That's probably bad, right? Where is he? Would you stop talking? You need must be quiet. See? My eyes and hand are in line with the arrow. That is the only way to shoot true. Boom! Got it! Did you hurt him? A clean shot to the heart. Hardly hurts at all. Let us get that pelt. This is bad. Sandstorm, like... We'll take this to the Oracle before it gets dark. One day, I, I want to shoot an arrow. Are we not going to address this giant sandstorm that just blew in? <laughs> you can. Your arrow will have to become Senu. Imagine. All my arrows are Senu's. Then I'll be able to hunt anything. Well, you get, said you'd like to keep your hands off my close. bird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why don't yeah. you stand with me yeah. by his side? Can I do that? As my son and the future Magi, yes. Well, well don't get the kids' what is hopes up. Really? The first Magi was the protector where I'm going. of the Pharaoh. But now, it means you must protect all the people of Egypt. Not just protect them, but work for their well-being. Oh, Papo, I'm so excited to be Magi one day. You know all the secrets of Siwa. What if I never grow up to be a Magi? I know. Uh, Don't talk like that. You are my son. But I get scared. I try to be brave. But sometimes it's hard. There's scary shit right. out there, kid. Let's go this way. When I was about your age, sometimes I got scared too. Your grandfather was a well-known Magi. And he wanted me to bring honor to the family when I succeeded him. Yeah? So who is that? One day, he took me up this way. At the top, he said something to me. A single word. <laughs> it changed me. One word? I got over my fear. I knew I could do anything I needed to. I know the word, what isn't did it? He, say? he said jump. I will tell you once we are there. He said jump. Or leap. Or something. You're gonna have him do a leap of faith, ain't ya? Hello. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> oh. 
right? That's gonna be the word. He's gonna take him up onto a cliff and just say, jump, right? That's gonna be a thing. Oh, I love how he hums to himself. That's so cute. Okay, hold on. So, I mean, I'm I'm Murican and therefore lame, and I'm pronouncing it Kemu. But in the game, they pronounce it Kemu, like German. Kemu. I don't. <laughs> butchering it, I'm sure. But yeah, I'll just say Kemu to avoid embarrassing myself. <laughs> yep. Yeah, He's gonna say jump, isn't he? What, what did your father say? Jump. Yep, I knew it! <laughs> Just don't land on the beach, please. Don't think so long. Jump. Yes, Papa. Hey, trust me, you can. I do. I will. Uh, jump then. Oh, no. Come back. You're not ready. I can do it, Papa. I can. Oh, shut up, you filthy little shit. Oh, oh no. Help me! That's Shanjira. I said shut up. Run home to your mother. Shanjira will be fine. I will take care of it. Magi Bayek! Go. Now. I'm scared. I don't want to go home alone. Oh, Emu, just do what I say. Please. Go! Poor kid. He's he's scared. I mean Magi Bayek! I'm indeed Magi here. Who summons me? Sheath your weapon and follow me. You said you only wanted to talk to him! Oh! oh no. So Kemu is not going home, is he? He's gonna stay and try and be brave and prove himself to me. Right? Or at least he's gonna watch and then he's gonna get caught and god. Come. Dude, that, by the way, that's total Henry Green, too. If you read the Underworld novel, like, he just didn't have the heart in him to be violent and kill in cold blood. Which I, I liked. Who are you to give commands to me? I mean, you piece of shit. We don't have time to piss away. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, whoa! Why don't you guys just take a chill pill? Oh, shit. No! Oh, God! I am gonna... Oh, shit. Oh, I was supposed to lose? That makes me feel a little better. <laughs> Except not really. <laughs> I didn't even get one of them. I'm so bad. That's bad. They used the kid to lure me. Make a sound and you're dead. So this is a year in the past, right? All this whole thing? Didn't want to be seen, sir. Kept to the shadows. This is not good. He's taking me down into the area I just killed him in, isn't he? Maduna Moon. But, I mean, I, I was missing for a year after this. So I obviously haven't seen Aya or my son in a long time. Which ain't good. They were gonna use the boy for something, so it sounds like, Mayak. which isn't good. I thought they just wanted to ask him a question. Oh God. What have I done? Quiet. I am walking to my doom. Yeah, master manipulators. Enough delay. There. Come. I'm walking as fast as the game will let me, man. Just take a chill pill. Be there whenever the game wants me to be. Magi! Oh, hello. Oh, no, they. Oh, no! No! Oh, crap. This is not gonna be good. Headbutt. Don't spit in your face right now if the game would let me. See that no one comes in. Oh, Camel, are you hot? Go ahead. Try it your way. I'll leave my son out of there! Your son has something to explain to you. Would the Ibis show him the orb? 
We believe we need this to enter the vault. This is a waste of time! The boy is... Ow! Gone. It's all right. Papo, they need you to tell them about the vault. They need to know how to use this. As measure, you must have some clue of your legend that explains its use. I don't know anything about this vault! Please leave my son out of my this! Lord. The Pharaoh has been aroused. He insists. He will be discovered. Here. Quickly! Oh shit! That's the Talk vault door son. right there! If the vault isn't open when we return, you'll never see him again. It's all right, son. No? Papa, I can get it to you. Oh. What? No. Come on, don't. They're going to hurt us. I mean, you could speak a little quieter. The echo in this chamber, I imagine, is ridiculous. It's foolish waste of time. Oh, good guy. Tell us! Oh, 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 I, I, I don't know. We must go now. I will cut the heart from the boy. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh, he stop. will never know the afterlife. Uh. No, no, no. I, I will tell you. I will tell you. Stop. Will tell. No, 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 no. for time. Stop. 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 This is mad. Oh, so close, buddy. Oh, man. But Come on. The snake takes that as your answer. Yeah! No! No! Help! Help! Oh, that's horrible! Oh, that's awful! Oh, no! Hey! You were dead. Eh? You could not even save your own son. I mean, you made you me kill him! Are no one. By yet of nothing. Father to nobody! Oh shoot, I have it! And here is your nobody! May the hidden one greet you. The Lord of the Duat awaits. Oh, that's what they're standing in. The River Duat, right? The river that carries you to the underworld. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, but also brutal. Yeah, I think he be a little bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so... That sucks! They made him kill his own son. Oh, that's horrible. At least I didn't have to worry about fighting the, the guards. Maybe. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no, I got it. Okay, good. I did it. And I wasn't even level five yet. Yay. I think. Well done, my friend. Our hero returns. You brought joy to Siva. I should get to Alexandria. I need to see Aya. Don't oh, that's right. She serves the queen. She will always need its magi. Right. But you are the protector here queen. now. Queen. <laughs> Moron. I'm always I said queen. Come see me when you are set and you are ready to go. We will drink beers to our friendship, huh? <laughs> I didn't even know that existed yet. Wine, definitely. Beer, though? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Oracle's relic. I have the apple already. I have the apple already. I did it! See that that vault reminded me of the one in uh in Dead Kings, the big door that you had to open with the key. May I moonwalk beside you? When you're ready to leave Siwa, speak to Hepsifa. Um, no, I just want to do the thing. Okay. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay. 
Bayek is ready to continue his pursuit of the snake. Well then, I guess I'll uh, leave. And actually, uh, quests completed. Yeah. I can reload and replay any of these, which is awesome. And uh, I don't see full synchronization anywhere. Maybe that's gone. You know, I'm really not looking forward to actually replaying through all this again. Not because I'm worried about, you know, repeating things I've already done, but the bow. <laughs> I love my bow and I'm going to have to, I might not find it again. That sucks. But yeah, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going to speak to Hepsifa and we're going to head to Alexandria or whatever. But yeah, that was a brutal death and that cannot be comfortable. Do you sleep there? You're back, Bray. My god. Are you ready? It is a long journey. Yeah, I can always come back. I know. Yeah, let's go. I, I mean, I hit Y. <laughs> My bad. Let's go. Okay. Let's go! Sheila. There are others to whom I must deliver justice. Especially the one known as the Snake. How will you find these men? Aya has been tracking them in Alexandria. I must find her. She said she would be visiting her cousin at the Great Library. Great Library? And she said if you are coming to the Library of Alexandria? Way, Serapis. Serapis? The god that Greeks and Egyptians share. Of course, I see. And Baik, do something about that. I don't beer. see nothing. <laughs> I like Goodbye, the beard. My friend. And off I go. Dude, we're gonna get to step into the Library of Alexandria, which is amazing. Because, I mean, the fire, there was a big fire that destroyed oh, a lot shit. of it. Layla, you need to refill on Cyclosporin. Stat. Here comes present day, oh my god! Okay. Holy shit. Finally. I forget what I was saying. Down there. Right, the fire destroyed most of, of the library, and so a lot of the knowledge that was kept there was lost. Layla? Layla, <laughs> come on back. Layla, are you with me? Have 50. Told you not to call me that. Thing is, the fastest way to get your attention is to piss you off. I'm paying attention. Okay, you need to take a break. The animus is rejecting you. <sighs> I'm fine. Yes, but your kidneys aren't. Go add more cyclosporin before they shut down. Yes, Nurse Geary. That's medical officer Geary to you. I don't even know. So? How did it go? My mods are holding. Subject's memories are perfectly clear. If this doesn't convince Abstergo to give me a place on the Animus Project, nothing will. Oh, amazing! Who do you have in there? His name is Bayek of Siwa. The death of his son turned him into a killer. Think you'd be of interest to Abstergo? Yeah. start. You know, they're not gonna be happy with how he handled this assignment. They know I don't work by the book. Well, this time you lit the book on fire and then stomped on it. Anyway, none of this will matter if you're comatose. Now go get that cyclosporin. So holy shit, we have another present day playable character that isn't first person and actually has a legitimate identity. And her name is freaking Layla. Is that, is that- I'm Looking for the cyclosporin? I definitely packed it in the med kit. Shut up! From the first game, do you want to wind up like Layla? Probably not, because I'm pretty sure they spelled the name wrong, but it's an odd choice of a name. And also, like, Lucy was trying to figure out what happened to her friend, Layla, who had apparently just kind of disappeared. Or did she die? I don't remember. Need but, med kit. I don't know, it's a weird, uh, it's a weird name to pick That's for a name that already exists in the franchise. Lucy should do it. Don't forget the alcohol wipe. So what am I doing? I mean, I see the Abstergo symbol, also I wish American. I was there to help. American flag. You do a good job looking after me, even from the hotel. And I know how you like your aircon. Or are those just flags of places I've already been. So what the heck is this? We have a new playable character, and her name is Layla. What's this? D never puts in enough snacks. D. 
In Flight Entertainment, the question mark, Egyptian Mysteries. Hidden chambers in pyramids, were they built by aliens? That's a typo. Light on the myths and the proofs. Traces of ancient technologies, that beeping is gonna drive me crazy! And the afterlife, signs of ancient Egyptian spirits among us. Well, I don't want to go to the really annoying, obnoxious beeping thing, so whatever. One bar. No, half a bar. Bad. Is that service or battery? Probably service. So basically, North Fork. <laughs> it's a mountain town not far from here. And the cell service is notoriously bad. What is this? Who's in the back? Raw Victoria. Is that a band? Um... Historical Research Division. What? Uh, oh my god, there's Desmond. Holy shit. Okay, I want to read all of this, but I'm kind of getting short on time. I'll just have to keep an eye on it. Let's see what this says. Yeah. That's a spoiler for the movie, guys. I figured they would be addressing this in the game. But I figured I'd wait to address it until I saw it in the game. Yeah, Alan Alan Riken, which is apparently how his name is pronounced according to the movie, uh, is uh, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Uh, Callum actually, Michael Fassbender's character in the movie killed him after they got the apple, and then Callum took the apple back. So that yeah, spoiler alert. Sorry, but the game's fault. Yeah, okay. The coroner never had time to properly examine Riken's body. Oh yes, and also um, Marion Cotillard's character Sophia Riken is now in is now in charge. I'm sure. Abstergo must have managed to get it back. Why did they want the corpse back so soon? Was there something they did not want the coroner to know? They put on quite the ceremony for the funeral, but they could could have waited a few days. It's not like he was going anywhere. I went through Case Fisher's files, and the guys the guy does have a few buried post mortem reports, but nothing on Riken. West London, that's where he died. Holborn Hall, London. Interior. No specific location. <laughs> I bet not. <laughs> okay. He doesn't have a specific birthday, but he was born in 51. Medical cause of death. Lack of oxygen and aspiration of blood. Yeah. Well, you see in the picture there. <laughs> yeah. At the Callum slit his throat. Blade damage to the trachea. Horizontal incision of the neck. Victim suffered blow to the head post-mortem. Right side. Possibly due to the fall, right? Yeah, okay. Right hand shows slight antemortem burn patterns. The apple. He was holding the apple in that hand. Well, thank you. I mean, I read all of it already, but yeah. So, yeah. Spoiler alert for the movie, guys. He died. And I am now officially glad I watched the movie before I played this game. Because I would have been like, wait, he's dead? When did that happen? He, uh, yeah. <laughs> in your attendance, we trust. Dr. Alan Riken addresses the assembly. Grand Templar Hall. Isn't that called Grand Temple Hall? And there's like a middle temple hall somewhere. Yeah. That's the night Alan Riken died. No one I know was invited to that assembly. Not that I would have gone anyway. Too gilded for my taste. Yup. But still, what was the ceremony for? And what really happened that night? What indeed? <laughs> Reports on Riken's death. The media reported Riken's death as a gas leak incident. <laughs> okay. I was able to corroborate the operation with emergency services and the fire brigade, but the information I found on the gas pressure levels that night show that they were pretty stable. Something doesn't add up. What is it with Abstergo's higher-ups and unfortunate incidents, anyway? Yeah, right? <laughs> Email to Sophia. Oh my god. From Layla. Layla Hassan. To Sophia Riken. Subject, are you okay? Sophia, I've just seen the news about your dad. Please let me know you're okay. I just know you had to be- I know you had to be there, too. They're still evacuating people from the district, and honestly, that gas leak story seems like the worst cover-up I've heard in a while. Yeah. <laughs> I know you told me to stop the emails, but tonight I really need to know, are you okay, Layla? Hmm. And it doesn't look like she responded. So great. Yeah, the gone. <laughs> suppose I could have brought that up. What the hell, Abstergo? Over the years, I've seen my fair share of crazy shit at Abstergo. So is she, does she work for Abstergo or is she like a sleeper agent? You know, like Lucy was supposed to be. Mmm. Broken promises, backstabbing, obscure HR procedures, false pretense. You see that in every corporation. But people, all key players, leaving or disappearing or dying in mysterious circumstances. It's right out of a conspiracy theory movie. Well. 
Sometimes there's not a word from higher management, just like that person was never here in the first place. At other times, we get a lame-ass excuse that smells of bullshit. When I think about the people that left, when I think about how Abstergo dealt with their departure, something just doesn't add up. I knew some of them. They weren't the kind of people who just quit to accept a job next door for a salary bump. I'm missing something. What is it? What really happened to those people? Did their disappearance have more meaning than management would like us to believe? Abstergo, if I could open you with a 2x4 screwdriver to find out what's behind that nice and shiny facade of yours. I asked Letitia England about it once. Mistake. I made a vague reference to Subject 17 and she sharply answered to keep to my stuff and stay out of it. Mm -hmm. Those are the exact magical words you don't want to have with me. Just ask my dad. Isabel Ardante. That's right, she's dead. Sean, Sean killed her at the end of Syndicate. Abstergo took a full year to replace Isabel. Alvaro Grammatica oversaw the operations here in the meantime. Simon Hathaway was a strange choice. I always thought Riken and Grammatica never really appreciated his work, but he must be doing something right. After all, he's still here, and he's not dead. Okay, so Simon Hathaway, Hathaway is now, um, what did Isabel do? She was, uh, research, right? It is with, a great, with great pleasure that I announce today in the nomination of Mr. Simon Hathaway as head of Abstergo Industries' Historical Research Division. He will be assisted by Mrs. Victoria Bibeau. That's right. Yeah, I've heard her name before in a couple emails from Enter Abstergo Entertainment, I think, in Rogue. Uh, although almost a year has passed since Mrs. Ardant's unfortunate incident. I think it should be more like accident. We are confident that our long search has turned up the perfect candidate to pilot the future of the division. Mr. Hathaway presented me some innovative hypotheses which could shake up the direction of the division. I ask you to assist him in any way possible so that we can make his vision a success for us all. Great! And then she, e she emailed Grammatica before she died. Isabel Ardant found something and Grammatica went through a lot to make sure the email was destroyed. 80,000 years ago, strange architectural shapes and humanoids. What on earth is she talking about and where is the Standish Temple today? Well, what is she talking about for civilization? Standish Temple. John Standish! Holy shit! Oh my god! Okay. From Isabel to Grammatica on Halloween three years ago. Precursor memo. Alvaro, I hope you're sitting down. Blank was extracted from the Standish Temple last week. The total video we have amounts to barely 2.7 seconds at 60 frames per second from a total of blah 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 memories. But even with this obscure temple, I'm already getting butterflies. Bleh, 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 bleh. I pulled one frame from the video to show you how mangled the data is, but even at this quality, some striking details emerge. Note the bleh, bleh, bleh figures, a full 20 inches taller on average than the humanoids nearby. Bleh, 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 bleh. The arch architecture looks like some combination of Sumerian, Egyptian, and Babylonian. But the metals they're using are bleh, 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 bleh alloys. Elsewhere, we see stranger architectural shapes. These structures have no modern precedent anywhere in the world, though the memory's geostamp gives us a location southwest of the bleh 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 bleh. Unfortunately, most of the geostamps on these images are confusing. Some point to a location in modern Jordan some 80,000 years ago. Other to a, lo to a few locations in bleh 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 in Ethiopia, but so far we haven't been able to nail anything down with much precision. Archive crawler was not able to reconstruct cluster data with integrity. Well, archive crawler obviously being the program, the software they're using. Interesting. I'm sure that might mean something eventually, but I have no idea. I know Abstergo well enough to suspect they weren't doing this out of charity. The restoration gave historical research unprecedented access to Buckingham Palace. <laughs> but what was Ardant doing there? What was she looking for? The Shroud. They never told us what really happened to her, and let's face it, the official version doesn't make any sense. What was so delicate that she couldn't send a team through normal channels? Uh, yeah, Sigma team much. The Channel, London Metro, a prominent scholar electrocuted in Buckingham Palace. She was, right? The Shockblade. Renowned historian Isabel Ardant met an unlikely end while conducting restoration work in one of Buckingham Palace's newly reopened rooms. The vault down below, right? Wiring dating from the first electrification of the palace went through the 1880s, through the 1880s, seems to be at the source of the incident. During World War II, many of the palace's 775 rooms were closed off for security reasons, and the Sturgis Historical Research Division just recently offered the Crown Estate to organize and oversee the la 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 la. Yeah, she's, uh, she's dead. I'm sorry, does that date say October 22nd, 2015? Up there in the top left in the yellow, top right, excuse me, in the yellow. 
October 26th, Erd. Okay. <laughs> okay. But I'm actually running out of time, so I wanna I wanna read more! I wanna read more! There's Olivier. Yeah, he's dead too, I'm pretty sure. I mean it's the gone files, right? Olivier Galneau was alive and well in Chicago in 2014, even if his disappearance was reported way back in 2013. If his money trail is to be believed, he was dining alone. In May, who on earth orders an extra country gravy? Someone who really likes country gravy. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. There it is! There it is! There it is! I knew it was gonna go to that. That's Aiden Pierce from Watch Dogs. I did that mission, and that was awesome. I'll admit, it's hard to know what's going on in this scene. From what I could tell from the CCTV footage, the plates matched Olivier Gounod's car rental, and it does look like him, but, well, that's not his best angle, to say the least. It's all speculation, of course, because the official version is that he never made it to Chicago, but I know otherwise. Don't we all? Oh, God, that's awesome! It shows Aiden Pierce executing the shit out of him! Look at that! Oh, that is awesome. That is so damn awesome. Oh god, I don't think I have five minutes to read all this. So, uh, if you guys will pardon me, four minutes, excuse me. If you'll pardon me, I'm gonna reset my webcam and, and stuff. And yeah, be right back. <laughs> <laughs>